this lecture we'll be continuing with the last topic that was the taylor series expansion of the given function f of x comma y so we saw in the last lecture that what is the taylor series expansion of this function at the neighboring points h comma k so the function f of x plus h y plus k is defined like this f of x y plus the operator h del by del x plus k del by del y when applied on the fun uh, function f of x y and then the 1 by 2 factorial the square of this operator h del by del x plus k del by del y whole square f of x comma y right and so on so we keep on doing like this so this is the taylor series expansion so suppose we wanted to calculate this taylor series at some particular point at some point say a comma b so what would be this so it would be defined like this f of a plus h b plus k so instead of x and y we are now substituting the value x is equal to a and y is equal to b so this becomes f of a comma b plus the uh, operator h into del by del x plus k into del by del y applied on to f of a comma b and 1 divided by 2 factorial multiplied by h into del by del x plus k into del by del y whole square applied on to f of a comma b plus so on so this is at some given point a and b so now the next thing is that if you take the point as 0 0 so that means you are expanding the given function Ma f of a, x y yeah, just a, just a second so at this point 0 comma 0 we expand our given function f of x y and we name that series that expansion as the special expansion named maclaurin's expansion so m a c l a u maclaurin's expansion of the given function so what is this this is sim simply f of x comma y this is equal to f of 0 0 plus the operator h into instead of h we are taking instead of h so what we are doing you are replacing a with 0 b with 0 h with x and k with y so what do, what this this become it becomes x into del by del x plus y into del by del y of the function f at the point 0 comma 0 plus 1 by 2 factorial x into del by del x plus y into del by del y whole square evaluated at the point f of 0 comma 0 plus so on so this is the expansion that you have so uh, using this expansion let us see uh, a problem the problem is so we have this question it says find the first six terms of the expansion of the function f of x comma y is equal to e to the power x log of 1 plus y in the taylor series expansion in the neighborhood of the point 0 0 so that means we are basically talking about the maclaurin series okay 
so in order to get the first six terms in the expansion we do not know how long we have to keep writing the terms because a few of the terms may be zero so for that let's see we have this function f of x y is equal to e to the power x log of 1 plus y so firstly let us calculate its partial derivatives so firstly let me calculate del f by del x so what would be this this would be uh, this would be constant so it would be e to the power x log of 1 plus y and then del f by del y what would be this now e to the power x would be constant and the derivative of this log 1 plus y would be 1 by 1 plus y and then the derivative of 1 plus y would be 0 plus 1 right so this would be equal to e to the power x divided by 1 plus y and uh, similarly we'll calculate all these terms and we'll calculate them at the point 0 comma 0 right so we'll substitute x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 so we have del f by del x calculated at the point 0 comma 0 this becomes e to the power 0 log of 1 plus 0 so this becomes uh, 1 into log 1 that is log 1 is 0 right so the term is 0 and what is this term we also have to calculate the value of function at the point 0 0 so it would be e to the power 0 log of 1 plus 0 so that is also equal to 0 and what is this del f by del y calculated at the point 0 0 so this is equal to e to the power 0 divided by 1 plus 0 so that is equal to 1 so we have the value of function calculated at this point the first derivatives calculated at this point then we calculate the second derivatives so that would be del 2 f by del so this is del 2 f by del x2 del 2 f by del x2 so what is this this is the derivative of this first derivative with respect to x so this is equal to e to the power x log of e to the power x log of 1 plus y so we we'll, we can also calculate del 2 f by del x2 at the point 0 comma 0 so it is coming out to be 0 and similarly you can calculate del 2 f by del x del y and del 2 f by del y 2 right so what what would be these quantities it would be e to the power x 1 plus y and the second derivative with respect to y what would be this when you differentiate this term with respect to y again so it would be e to the power x multiplied by minus 1 by y plus 1 whole square right yes so now we can evaluate del 2 f by del x del y at the point 0 0 so this would be equal to e to the power 0 divided by 1 plus 0 so that is equal to 1 and del 2 f by del y squares at the calculated at the point 0 0 so that would be equal to e to the minus e to the power 0 0 plus 1 whole square so that is also that is equal to minus 1 so we keep on doing this and finally we will have our series so let me write the series first the series f calculated at the point x y so this would be equal to f calculated at the point 0 plus x into del f by del x plus y into del f by del y calculated at the point 0 0 plus x square del 2 f by del x 2 plus 2 x y del 2 f by del x del y plus y square del 2 f by del y square calculated again at the point 0 comma 0 so what would be these quantities plus so on right so let me substitute the values here 
the value of f of 0 0 that is equal to 0 right so we have 0 plus the value uh, x would be as such because we are calculating only the values of del f by del x and del f by del y at the point 0 comma 0 so del f by del x calculated at the point 0 0 that is equal to 0 and this is equal to 1 so we have so we have here x into 0 plus y into 1 and for the second term we have we also have 1 by 2 factorial here right so 1 by 2 2 factorial is simply 2 so we have x square into the value of uh, del 2 f by del x2 that is 0 plus 2 x y the value here as 1 and then plus y square the value is minus 1 plus so on right but they are asked in the question that we need 6 terms so we have only this is 0 this is 0 so we have one non-zero term second and third so that means we need three more so we also need the terms of third order right so we also need to calculate del 3 f by del x 3 so what are all the terms so they are del 3 f by del x 2 del y and then we also require del 2 f by del x del y square and then we also require del 2 f by del 2 f by del y cube so all these terms are required so you have to take the derivatives and then you have to calculate the values so if you see what is this value this is equal to e to the power x log of 1 plus 5 what, do, what is this value e to the power x divided by 1 plus y what is this value minus e to the power x divided by 1 plus y whole square and the last value is my uh, it is 2 e to the power x 2 e to the power x divided by 1 plus y whole cube so when you sub calculate all these values at the point at 0 0 so what do you have you have del 3 f by del x cube calculated at the point 0 0 so that is equal to 0 del 3 f divided by del x square del y calculated at the point 0 0 so that is equal to 1 right and the value this value del 3 f by del x del y square calculated at the point 0 0 that is equal to minus 1 and del 3 f by del y cube that is equal calculated at the point 0 0 that is equal to 2 so we have all this value so our expansion now becomes so here we also have this term so instead of this plus I can now write the next term 1 by 3 factorial so the next terms would be x cube into del 3f by del x cube plus 3x square y into del 3f by del x square del y plus next term would be 3xy square del 3f by del x del y square and the last term would be y cube del 3f by del y cube and so on so when when you write the terms here they they will become so we will have plus 1 by 3 factorial 3 factorial is 3 6 right so 6 into x cube the value of this evaluated at the point 0 0 what is it it is 0 so you have 0 plus 3 x square y and then we have the value here as 1 
plus 3xy square the value is minus 1 and then plus y cube the value is 2 right so these are the terms now you could simplify the, them so what will you have this term is 0 this term is 0 this term is 0 so you have y the first term is y the second term is 2xy the third term is minus y square this term is 0 right and then you have plus x square y by 2 and then you have this as minus x y square by 2 and then this term as plus 2 y cube by 3. So these are the terms that are available to you finally. So this is the answer. So I hope this is okay.